नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कशन सोर्सेस ऑफ लॉ एंड लॉ मेकिंग प्रोसेस वाइल टॉकिंग सोर्सेस ऑफ लॉ लेट्स डिफाइन व्हाट इज लॉ लॉ इज सेट ऑफ रूल इनफोर्स बाय सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन टू गवर्न बिहेवियर सोर्सेस ऑफ लॉ रिफर्स टू द ओरिजिन ऑफ अथॉरिटीज फ्रॉम व्हिच लीगल रूल्स एंड प्रिंसिपल्स आर डिराइव्ड सोर्सेस प्रोवाइड द फंक्शन फॉर द क्रिएशन इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लॉ विद इन अ पार्टिकुलर जुरिस्डिक्शन वी कैन डिवाइड द सोर्सेस ऑफ लॉ इंटू टू कैटेगरीज प्राइमरी सोर्स सेकेंडरी सोर्स प्राइमरी सोर्स इज बाइंडिंग लॉ सेकेंडरी सोर्स इज नॉट बाइंडिंग बट यूज एज रिफरेंस इन प्राइमरी सोर्स पार्लियामेंट इन एक्टेड लॉ इज लेजिस्लेसन इट इज नॉट प्रैक्टिकल टू पुट फंक्शनल डिटेल इन पार्लियामेंट इन एक्टेड लॉ दैट इज वाई एक्ट अलाउज एक्जिक्यूटिव जुडिशरी और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी टू फ्रेम द रूल विच वी कॉल्ड डेलीगेटेड लेजिस्लेसन कोर्ट इस्टाब्लिस्ड लीगल प्रिंसिपल्स इज प्रिशिडेंट कॉस्ट्यूम कोड बी बाइंडिंग इफ इट हैज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एंटीक्यूटी रिजनेबलनेस सर्टेन्टी कंटिन्स कंसिस्टेंट जनरल एक्सेप्टेन्स एंड नट कन्फ्लिक्ट विथ पार्लियामेंट इन एक्टेड ल ट्रिटी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवेन इन सेक्शन नाइन सेड ट्रिटी प्रोविजन इन्फोर्सेबल एज गुड एज ल एंड लास्ट वन द कंट्रैक्ट इज द ल क्रिएटेड बाई पार्टीज इन अदर हैंड द सेकेंडरी सोर्स वी कैन टू रिफरेंस फ्रम रिलीजियस बुक हिस्टोरिकल डॉक्यूमेंट राइटिंग ऑफ एमिनेंट लॉयर्स एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन वर्डिक्ट ऑफ फॉरेन कोर्ट वाइल मेकिंग द लॉ वाइल टॉकिंग लॉ मेकिंग प्रोसेस इन फेडरलिज्म वी हैव थ्री टीयर्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड इच गवर्नमेंट हैव पावर टू मेक लॉ एंड आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन शेड्यूल फाइव सेवेन एंड नाइन दिस इज रिलेटेड विथ फेडरल लेजिस्लेशन द शेड्यूल सिक्स सेवेन एंड नाइन आर रिलेटेड विथ प्रोविन्शियल लेजिस्लेशन एंड Schedule eight and nine is related with local government legislation. Also, we have Federation, Province, Local Level Coordination and Interrelationship Act 2077, Intergovernmental Financial Arrangement Act 2074, and Unbundling Report. These three documents guide us the jurisdiction of three level of government. Our constitution. In Part Twenty, said federal law may to be applicable to the whole of, or if required, to any part of territory of Nepal. Province law may be made to be applicable to whole of, or as required, to any part of territory of the province. Relation among three level based on principle of coordination, coexistence, and cooperation. Here is the diagram. of law making process of federal parliament in nepal as we have two house upper house is national assembly and lower house is house of representative we can present the bill in either house so if we present the bill in house of representative and it will pass and send to national assembly and if national assembly pass the bill and it will be assent by president and published in nepal gazette if we present the bill in national assembly national assembly pass and send to house of representative and house of representative pass and send to president and president assent it and published in nepal gazette but if house of representative pass but national assembly reject then it will go to house of representative again and if house of representative pass it again and it will be assented by president and it will be a law but in the case of national assembly the national assembly pass and house of representative reject in that case the bill will present in joint house and if joint house pass the bill and it will go to president for assent and it will be published in nepal gazette and it will be a law our federal legislative procedure is defined in part 9 of our constitution in article 110 there is procedure of introducing bill 
in 111 there is procedure of passing bill in 112 there is provision of withdrawal of bill in 113 there is provision of assent bill and in 114 there is provision of ordinance here are some special provision money bill and bill concerning security body introduced as government bill only money bill only introduced in house of representative we cannot present the money bill to national assembly as a beginning national assembly should decide on bill originated in house of representative within 2 month but money bill it should be decided in 15 days and president may return the bill for one time with message but the money bill she or he should have assent within 15 days she or he can't return in both case president should assent the bill within 15 days these are the major provision of federal legislative procedure let's talk about provincial legislative procedure as there is only one house in province there is no such complicated as federal legislation they draft bill as per the demand of law the bill will present in province assembly and if the province assembly pass the bill it will send to chief of province to assent and published in province gazette while talking local legislative procedure article 226 didn't say much about local legislative procedure because it says the process of making law shall be provided for in the provincial law thus it said village assembly and municipal assembly may make necessary law on the matter set forth in the list contained in schedule 8 and 9 it just say this much what are the problem of law making process in nepal slow pace of formulation of essential law while recording this video we don't even have federal civil service act lack of adequate consultation with stakeholder lack of adequate study and research influence of interest group member of parliament lacks expertise regarding law formulation overlapping and duplication among sectoral law lack of clarity on jurisdiction of three tiers of government ambitious law such as social practice reform act 2033 said we can make limited number of participation in marriage but no one follow the law lack of public participation error lack of seriousness while codifying the law result of political compromise the law is not scientific but various political party go in bargaining and the meeting point will be come out as a law president are not adequately incorporate in new law have a that copy of foreign practice without considering the domestic situation these are the problem of law making process in nepal finally we come to conclusion efficient law making requires informed and dedicated law makers collaborative effort transparency public participation clear guidelines and continuous evaluation this solution combat the lack of seriousness promoting reasonable legislation that uphold justice order and societal progress when embarking upon the creation of law it is imperative to meticulously consider the context of our society the need and aspiration of our communities the far reaching vision for our nation and ever shifting dynamics of world with this we come to end of our discussion feel free to comment and take part in discussion if you haven't subscribe my channel please subscribe it thank you